I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number eight, the final race on the program, Friday night race racing and uh, this is a Phillies and May 69 handicap 1200 meters the distance the final race goes off at quarter past nine and uh, this race it's uh, a competitive uh, race to close off proceedings at Hollywood Bets Gravel they bet in four to one the field here with Groove Ice your favorite with uh, Robert Cartier aboard for Wayne Bardenhorst it's nine to two about Winter Journey Muziani aboard and then uh, five to one Morgan Lafay 11 to two and bet about those now my numbers for the place accumulator, 1, 7, and uh, I'm including horse number 12, Girl of Tragunta, who is at the bottom of the boards at 25 to 1. Now, I'll start with Girl of Tragunta. She's got a deep draw to contend with, but just ignore her last two starts, both on the poly track. I'm going to say that uh, she doesn't enjoy the surface. Back on the turf. Returns off uh, 39 days since that last start. I think that uh, she'll be fit and ready to mm -hmm. run well. And she's a horse that I think is worth a place bet in this lineup. Despite being drawn out in gate number 12. I think that uh, Tristan Godin from the draw. He's not going to have too much of options. He's going to probably have to tuck her in. But you will see her doing her best work late on in the day. I think that they'll go a decent pace in this uh, in the final race here. And I think it should play into the hands of Girl of Tragunta. So 5-1 to one a place. I think the, that, that could be a... That could be a nice horse to uh, close off the day for you at Hollywood Bets Gravel. That's that's a roughie in the last race for me, Dees. Well, Ryan likes number 12, Ghoul, Girl of Truganta. Good luck to him. Good luck to him. And uh, maybe he's found something at a big, big price. 25 to 1. Wow, that is a huge price. If that has to arrive, you got the cash here in the pick six because that's the result you're looking for. But I agree. Uh, Winter Journey, number one, uh, must to go into the PA. Nicely drawn. And a horse that you'll always get an honest run. Kylie's Fate, uh, number seven. Well, there's a horse that's just battling, searching for that next career win. When are you going to give up for this one? No, I'm just going to put it in the PA. I can't, I can't go for the punt on the head anymore. I've been, yeah. I've been, I've been, you know, I've been, I've been there. The day that she rewards Rachel Vinica, I think it'll be a, a very good interview as well. Whoever's doing it on the day, but... The fact is that, uh, you know, you can't go for her. The 27th of June will be a day remembered yeah, for Rachel Venica. She's unreliable, unreliable, just Kylie's fate. But she'll go in the PA. So I'm going 1-7 and my runner is, my, my, my runner here is Morgan Le Fay. I think on the recent form, and even though she's carrying 60 and a half, just like your runner, uh, will be ridden for luck. Uh, this uh, young man, uh, uh, what's I call him a young man because he is, He's on a mission and he is uh, riding for Wendy, I see, on the day as well. He's got a few chances for Wendy. So good luck to him. Uh, that's Keegan and he'll ride number 11, Morgan Le Fay. Let me post something to you and Ariel. I just thought about something while I'm chatting. Uh, okay, firstly, for the, for the pick six, what are you doing? Um, sure. Include number four. Horse number four, Grow of Ice. Yes. No. Number three. Uh, that's a bit touch and go okay, there with number my, three. My runner for the pick six is Merited Grey. I'm going with that horse with the claim two and a half was cages. Nice run, not the maidens. Very good run. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go this. I'm gonna in, only include one more horse in the pick six, along with numbers one, seven, and eleven. I'm gonna include number six. Give me one more runner for your pick six. Horse number eleven, Morgan Le Fay. I'll I'll include your runner just based on the fact that Keegan is taking I'm, the right. I convinced you. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me pose this question to you. You've picked out number 12, Girl of Traganta. You've gone 1, 7 and 12. I've gone 1, 7 and 11. So the common denominators are 1 and 7. We cancel that out. So 11 versus 12. What's the bet? That race between the two. You're owing me about a million now, huh? Oh, gosh. I don't know how much, I'm, I don't know how much you get. I'm dead for life, yeah. Yeah, you know that, you know that. But I'll give you a chance to wipe it off. 11 versus 12. Is that, a, is that the race Perfect. on the show? Perfect. 11 versus 12. We're not going to go with wood, ple wood pleasure and queuing. And you got 5 times 125, which is uh, 125 to 1 from me. 125 to 1 to try and wipe off the debt. Uh, 11 versus 12. Uh, that's just uh, some banter. 
between Ryle and myself. It's been an absolute pleasure. The numbers again in the pick six here will be one, uh, six, seven, and 11 for me. One, six, seven, and 11. And Ryle's going to include my 11 as well as part of his play with his numbers, which are one, seven, and 12. So you can work around those numbers uh, for uh, the place accumulator, uh, the pick six, and the jackpot. And uh, hopefully everything goes according to plan. And I think we found uh, you know, a few runners that we can go confident in. Uh, there are a few races that's going to be competitive. But uh, are you in agreement with the, that double? Uh, catch the... Can't catch me and Cape catch Eagle. Me. Can't catch me and Cape Eagle. I think that, I think that could uh, certainly be a nice double. And if the guys, they could also take some places on time taker as well in that race with Cape Eagle. Well, always, it's been an absolute pleasure with young Rahil to the Gallup TV team and myself, Dees Nine. And enjoy your TGIF to Gravel. It's Friday. Until we meet again, you take care. Salani Kashle. Uh, my name is Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.